Um, that's been good. Um, uh, got up to plat five, but I'm pretty sure it's going back down because I'm, I've got a lot of losses. That's um, I've had fun. some like really, I've had some really good games where I felt like my aims improved a lot and I felt like I performed really well. Um, and then I've had some games where, uh, I it was like the total opposite. My aim was just awful and um. I felt like I was having a hard time finding the right angles to take. Um, and it's like, I didn't feel like I was like struggling in the game. The game felt like, like it should have been easy, but like I just couldn't do what I wanted to for some reason. I don't really know what was holding me back. Right, right, right. You you still try to work on what we mentioned before, trying to control off angles, making sure you maintain off angles, right? Yes, yes, that, that, and that, that's what I was working on, but, like, what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying is, is, like, it was, I don't know if it was the aim that was holding me back, um, or if maybe, um, or, or just sometimes I just mm -hmm, mm -hmm. didn't know where that off angle that I was looking for mm -hmm. would have been. Yeah, 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 I was reading in the, in the notes as well. Okay, so we have a couple of codes. Uh, what kind of code do you want to start with? Well, we could actually start with the Cassidy one, if you have the... Cassidy, the, if it's still gonna be fine yet, or do you want to start with any other one? Um, so that second VOD I put in is probably the one um, that I want I lost, and that was the one I felt like I really struggled in. Um, mm -hmm. The first one I, like, I put in there is kind of like an ego VOD. <laughs> mm -hmm. I felt like I did really good, so we have the time to look at it, and you have anything to say that negative about it, um, like constructive mm -hmm. criticism, because I felt like I did really good, but I know there's always room to improve. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, so we want to start with the part where you... You've been Cassidy? Uh, yeah, do you... So do you want to start with the Cassidy or Ash? Um, I play a lot more Ash, probably. Mm, but... Okay, well, he, we can pay attention to the same ideas. Actually, it's just with Ash, it's slightly different because you have Coach Gun. You're going to be using Verticality a little bit more, but it's up to you. What do you want to lean towards more, Ash or Cassidy? Uh, definitely Ash. Ash, okay. Let's just start with this, uh, this here then. Okay, so what's your thought process here? What kind of positions you want to take? What kind of angles you're looking for? Um, so I, I was thinking, um, I was gonna watch high ground and see if they had anything that was going to be taking mm -hmm. that high ground angle a lot. Um, <laughs> like where that bridge, um, like tunnel is, um, cause that's, that's where the struggle of getting up to the choke can come from a lot of times. Right. Um, and then I'm looking at going up to the, um, the buildings on the left and right. Cause there's a little bit of cover there. Um, I'm just really careful about it. If I don't have supports, I can get up there. Um, mm -hmm. And then if that is a problem, then I will try to go kind of around the right side of the building and mm -hmm. um, po possibly get up to the stairs mm -hmm. and take the high ground mm -hmm. that way, especially when we get right. up to the choke. Right, 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 right. See, um, you definitely got to be paying attention to where your core is positioned, trying to maintain off angles mostly. It's just those high grounds are quite good. Uh, there is something you mentioned that you're not sure what um, what to do if your tank is not taking spaces actively, right? Sometimes right. it might be the case. Well, it's just basically you got to keep an eye on when your tank is the most active, when your tank is actually applying some sort of pressure. It's either he is active with his primary fire or he's active with the cooldowns or both, basically. That's what you do because... Obviously, at top of 100, tanks are getting more value compared to the lower ranks, but we still got to pay yeah. attention to when the tank, yeah, when the tank is active. You just got to take advantage of that. And other than that, yeah, I think it just depends on the situation. Let's take a look. What do we do exactly? There's always a room for off angle because even on linear maps like Circuit Royale, you still might notice where your core is positioned and just playing away from the core because we want to attack from different angle because you <clears throat> controlling the map better this way. It becomes much, much better, much easier for you to control mm -hmm. space. Yeah, like let's say here, because the enemy team is stacked on the main, instead of just dealing damage from here where they can easily 
potentially hide from the damage. Like, let's say you deal damage to this uh, gore. If there's a May here, they can instantly go around the corner, right? They can instantly hide around here. So, what kind of angle you can take so make it harder for them to hide around the cover right away? If it's not the um, high ground, what that could be? Because you can take high ground right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so I'm, I do make my way around um, from the angle we're looking at around the left, the bottom left. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then what I was, and then once we get past that like doorway, once we get the payload past that doorway, we actually kind of take mm -hmm. that space. I, it makes it easier, and as Ash, I can get up on those buildings. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly, exactly. See, but this is consistent thought process. You're leaning towards the verticality with Ash, but you still can maintain the idea of taking off angle, slightly moving towards this side. Why it can work as well. You have a mercy with you so something to ask in mm -hmm. addition if mercy can just be with you it can be quite nice if not then it just means that you're not gonna stand that angle as long maybe you might be pushed up a little bit earlier than expected but it's okay if you do it at the correct time because from here we really do not have an option to poke an enemy team consistently mm, you can kind of think about this idea of because it's a sharper angle mm, well let's just put it this way you playing at a position where mm, it's hard for the enemy to reach cover they are away from the cover more so there's a difference if i play here they can hide as soon as possible if we here then it takes time for the mate to actually move somewhere it, it might just take five meters for the mate to reach that another corner so that is what we want to do as soon as possible do not even waste time on just poking too early with the on the main but kind of be set up here and if somebody's pushing you like they did then you can answer with your cooldowns here with your coach gun you can also maybe use dynamites in some cases if you have it obviously uh doing the short range fire like you did is also fine yeah mm -hmm. then you lean towards here Mm -hmm. oh and in addition why this angle works as well just something to think about is ash is because you're pretty long range character leaning towards the sidelines where you have that long range is much better at any point of time that's why <clears throat> that is constantly if you think about that if you're taking those off angles it creates you much more gives you much more value uh well we got around the corner, which is good. Unfortunately, <laughs> <that> jump up. <laughs> okay, okay, that happens. Uh huh. Well, the intention is to go on the high ground. What do you think? If we take this high ground right away, is it a good enough position for us? What's your thoughts? Um, so my thoughts is I can get the sombra off there for one, <laughs> which will get rid of that pressure that she's had on our back line because that was something that was hmm. kind of a struggle for quite a while was she was just always in our back line she didn't really do a lot it's just that she was there and everybody would turn around for her so like the whole team kept getting distracted but yeah sure. um but getting up there i can shoot up above the sigma shield and then if anyone's trying to off angle us on the left side i can always um you know pressure them back so you're talking easier. about if somebody's on the high gun there right correct yeah uh-huh why not to go here? What's the difference? Um, what, well, the I guess there's not really um, the the big difference there is I can peek behind the sigma and start shooting mm -hmm. at them. Right. Um, which is which is where I want to go. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I guess. Yeah. 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 But it's just usually something. Usually it's once. About. Yeah. Usually it's once the cart gets. Um, the cart and the tank are a little closer to that choke that I'll go up there because mm -hmm. right now it doesn't feel like we really um, have the space, I guess. Like yeah, it feels like they can yeah, really just yeah. walk forward. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I think all of that makes sense. At the start, uh, being here a little bit or maybe here, but because your team's moving up a little, being at this position is okay. Just considering the, the Sombra, being careful around that. Um, if there's too much of a sweat, at the short range battle usually you shouldn't take that so be careful if there is something like kiriko maybe or somebody in addition to that sombra definitely want to be leaning towards the long range if you want to clear the angle see if you want to get rid of the sombra do it but constantly implement the long range 
So that's why I'm considering sometimes going here can be okay. But in this case, if the Somber is alone, well, you can try to contest her. Just keep an eye on sidelines of your team. You just need the Mercy to be able to fly towards you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the intention is okay. Just something to think about. Yeah, sometimes when we cannot take that high ground, maybe we can do something else. Can we... Um... Mm -hmm. Something you mentioned, you well, you you struggle with aim at times. What what is that exactly? What do you think is the main problem sometimes? If there's anything, um, I honestly I don't um, I don't really know. It's just really inconsistent. I don't know if it's just going to be one of those things where mm -hmm. it gets better with play time. But I feel like it's really it just be. at its worst that it's ever been. Mm -hmm. Mostly the aim is just can be fixed through the positioning decisions especially in a game like Overwatch there's just most most of the game is about that and obviously mm -hmm. there are some mechanics you can implement but yeah for example yeah for example here if you're trying to aim towards the ski rim something to think about why we taking off angles in the first place because you in a position where but they try um, because because you're putting yourself on kind of 90 degrees angle or sort of uh, on the side they're not gonna strafe against you as much so because the kiri is strafing against your core she's looking this way the where the yellow arrow was so she's gonna strafe this way if you're trying to shoot her this way then there's a bigger chance you might miss your shots but if you lean towards like let's say here yeah just as an example yeah like once your team is about to go obviously for now i don't think you can do that because your team is not taking right. space mm -hmm. but maybe you can think oh what about if i stay on this platform if she's exposed you might take advantage of that yeah so you thinking about how they strafe and thinking about yeah even not just about that, but where your core is, it leaning towards more 90 angles potentially. So you're making it easier for your team. She's kind of, kind of moving back and forth though. So it's just a little bit easy for you to actually kill her. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was the reason to give up the position exactly? Is that you trying to execute that kill a little bit faster? Or yeah. What was the um... process behind it? Because I was trying to get us through the choke, and I heard a lot of action behind me. Okay. And I figured it would get the cart moving, because at this point, it was just, it felt like we were moving really slow, so honestly, it was probably just me being really, like, antsy, um, and just wanting to, like, basically get things moving, because I felt like the tank just wasn't taking space. It was yeah. very frustrating. Well, so but I was trying to force it. Why do you need to take space by yourself? What What's the point of it? Um, because I was really struggling with getting good angles um, where yeah, but, we were. Well, yeah, I'm just... Because because what is the difference? Yeah, like, can we... Do, do we see why, like, being at A is the same as being at B, but B is, like, really, really scary for you. you yeah, I so... I, I don't honest if, honestly looking in the VOD, I don't know why I walked down. I guess maybe I thought I had coach gun and could get back up, but um and then I maybe wanted to make a bob play. But like just looking at it after the fact, I'm like, that was a really stupid thing to do. <laughs> There's just I, I I'm not considering this, but this is like a, a, a pretty common. This is something what's called plat magnet sometimes, <laughs> but you know <laughs> when you're trying to aim at something, a lot of people tend to walk forward to it, and it's a common thing actually. It, uh, okay. it might be that, might be not, but something to consider. Just not necessarily giving up the position. Why I'm, it might be not the best as well, just fundamentally, uh, because. If you have a good position, if you have a good angle where you can work around, like let's say you can move left or you can move right, something like that, yeah. then if there is a good reason to give up the position, you can do it. But the good reason what that can be is usually when you can get a kill, for example. It's 99% of a good reason. Sometimes there might be something else, but it's more of an exception. So here, if you can get a kill, that's a good thing. But can we get a kill on the Kiri? What do you think? Can you get an... if I can if I can aim good, but that's not gonna happen. What what about the abilities though? Um, I mean, she can swift step yeah. um over to Sigma. <laughs> exactly. And exactly. She has a Suzu, but um, 
Exactly. Exactly. I think that was probably. I think yeah. And see, I think that was part of the reason I threw Bob is because I saw the Swift stuff and I thought that Sigma. I don't think I heard Sigma come that close to me. I yeah. was thinking I was very surprised when I turned around and he was right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think May was still over by Cart as well. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And, that, and so I thought the fight was still going on by Cart. That's why I threw Bob over there. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's about to take place in the fountain. Yeah. So he's just kind of being more patient with the all this pressure you uh, you can deal the same amount of damage thinking about the angle uh, well think about the abilities because you're just gonna force something oh, let me see mm -hmm. uh, there's just a little lag okay maybe it's gonna be better now mm -mm. actually let me restart give me one second okay. i'm just gonna do this 